you see from here that Kol Oilam the Eretz Yisrael, you're supposed to take your wife to Eretz Yisrael. So I'm hoping to Bez Hashem that they're coming back and to, 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 to live in Eretz Yisrael for a while and to, to, to learn Torah together. And the fascinating thing about Brother M is the ability to totally go through tremendous stages in life and conquer them. I Meaning this, when I like was one of those stages. Now, you don't even know what this is, would be used for, but I guess when you stop smoking, you're supposed to do like this for like at least a month. Walk around like this. And then you move on to a toothpick and then eventually it goes. I've had this in my house for six years. Mm-hmm. It's the most frustrating thing to deal with. Moish, a month later, it's gone. You can do it. We're waiting for you to come back to figure this out. But like everything Moish does, he like, he, he like divide and conquer. Like, like, like the way the lions, they, 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 the way they hunt. You like separate it from the pack and then you conquer. Moish divides and conquers. He just, he sets his mind on something. You know, we have the pool stick. That was a great stage. He started playing a ton of pool and just became a great pool player. The, you know, um, uh, ping pong. Everything Moish does, everything Moish does is he, he divides it up. He puts all his kaychas in and boom, he explodes and he takes care of it. It's an, it's an incredible thing that, that, that he has this ability to divide and conquer. I'm sure it's an instinct. You know, to separate, the, you know, separate, you know, I'm not sure where, where Firewolf or Cry picked it up from. But it's, it's a tremendous kayak. And, and we've seen that his atzlocha in this kayak. And that's the Shem. She continues going with that kayak. Another point, another point that, that, that we have to point out is that Chazal tell us, Ezu chacham aloymin mikol adam. What's called a chacham that's loymin mikol adam? Now, anybody who knows Moish, is, he's not just a loymin mikol adam, he's also melamed the kol adam. That every conversation, he's always, he always, he always is providing more information, providing something more. And that's the, uh, it's, it's, it's not just a chacham, but he's, he's a mashpia. You get, you come out of a conversation, he has so much knowledge, he has so much clarity in the conversation, they back and forth, that he really, it really, he's not just a lame call them, he's a malama to call them. The conversations with everybody under the sun from every spectrum, he always comes out with something, the insight, tries to help other people. It's a tremendous kaya. Now, two things, two people that are, are very influential in Moshe's life, and I want to talk about both of them. One is the Kleisenberg Rebbe, and I do believe, Moshe, correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe that I was the one that introduced you to him. I think that was that Tisha B'av. I gave you that book. Is that correct? Yeah. So, so I'm going to take a little credit there, pat myself on the back for that one. And so the Kleisenberg says a fascinating thing. He said he was dealing with that he noticed a lot of people when they got married that they, they, they have a hard time. They go after gosh, but they, they leave tired. And he says that the reason why, this is the Kleisenberg Rebbe, the reason why we break a glass underneath the chuppah, he says in the times of the Gemara, the Kleisenberg was very, very chashim. And they broke it in order to show you that gosh, means is nothing. The Iker is ruchlis. And by the drasha, he says, the reason why we sing down a drasha of a chasim is because the chalson is, um, he's bursting. He can't learn the shasta chuppah. Really what he wants to do is to learn to say terror. So he gets up by the, but he gets up by the shepherd brothers and he tries to say the divine terror. And they sing him down, like, to, to, and, and really it just creates that burning desire in him to continue to try to want it. But that clarity, he says these two things, and they have the minimum that when the chalson used to speak, he used to give him money, people like, like that he spoke. You know, you give a darshan money, Everybody can know that as simple as having a fundraising yeshiva. So even though he's not speaking, but if you want to give the direction money, you can give it to Simchas Yeshiva. But the um, the that the, the minute was they used to give the chasen money. And they give the chasen money. And he's saying, because he's saying the money's nothing. That's not what I want. I just want to speak. And he needs to take the money and just like push it away and try to like just continue to speak. And that's the Klezman who says is the minute for the chasen that that to, to have that burning desire of Steigen of Torah. Now the other consistent in Moshe's life is Dr. Seuss. Now, he probably was introduced <laughs> this. Idea. I can't take credit for this. I think this one came from Mami. But it's been very consistent, the Chachma of Dr. Seuss. So we're going to attempt to give a Rashi explanation for some paragraphs over here. 
So I want to turn to this is this is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I'm going to turn to page. Um, if you guys have, you can look on. Otherwise, you'll have to look on by me. <laughs> okay. So it says over here, we'll use Moshe's pool stick. It says, who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say I wish for fish, and I get fish right on my dish. Okay? And you'll observe there are three fishes over here. There's the one, two, and three. And that's very important. Okay? So it's not just the words, but this fact that there are three fishes over here, it's very important also. And now we have to explain it a little bit. So obviously, and that's why this is the, the drasha here, is because obviously the ish is that an ish is a man. And we know that it, a person becomes an ish at the time of bar mitzvah. Today you're a man. And I, even though Mosh, even though he became bar mitzvah, he was known as everybody's baby. But he's no longer everybody's baby anymore. He is a man today. Or he was, you know, his last name. Now, Ishus, in, in Lashem Chazal, this, uh, Ishus is considered marriage, is called Ishus. And we're used to calling marriage Ishus in the Suin. But there's a Rashi in Nida Memheim and Beis. Rashi says Ishus is Hashem Ish. Because when a person gets married, he's actualizing his manly, his, his, his ability to be a man, to be an Ish. An Ish is somebody who has, who has a responsibility, who has an Achrayas, and that's an Ish. Now, when you have an ish, you have to have a dish. And that's what he says. On my hand means that the ability to do is the hands are always, your daim is always the ability to do. And a dish, Chazal tell us, ain't isha karis bris el misha isha atva kli. The woman is the kli, is a dish. So a man really can't do anything if he doesn't have a dish. Now, the dish is the isha. And now, once you have a man and a woman, and now a man gets married, so he has the ability to wish. What's wish? Wish is aspirations. It's called fantasy if you sit around thinking what's going to be. But if once you have an Isha, you actually could develop, you actually could shy, you actually could do, and actually wish. Now, what does a person wish for? Chazal tell us there are three things that a person wants. Bini, chayai, and Children, wife, and food, and parnasa. The first place we find fish in the bracha Malcha Koilisi, right? Vidgul Rav the Kavarts. Rashi says, Vidgul Rav, Kuru That's the E. Rashi says, it's not Shoilit. Ayn Hara is not Shoilit on a fish. That's the second fish. Chazal, Rigmar Bamatsia. Most people die from Ayn Hara. That's Chayai. And the Zoyne. The Gemara in Shabbos tells us that if a person's born on Chami, Yom Chamishi, now we don't hold like this Gemara, it's Chazer from it. Is it going to be a Goyim Chesed? Says Rashi. Why is the person going to be Goyim Chesed? Because the, 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 on day Chamishi, the fish and the birds were created. And the, and the HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives them, is ain Tarechim L'Eichlim, El Nizoyim Bechaste HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They don't have to work hard for their food. They get Mizoyim the Chesed of Hashem. So fish get mizoynus for chesed of Hashem. And that's the third, the mizoynus. So that's the, that's l'chaira, what's going I'm on. Saying, in I'll this. review it one more time. I didn't get it. <laughs> that's l'chaira going on over here is that a man gets married. He has aspirations. Yeah. A man gets married. He has aspirations, wish for yeah. fish. Bini chaye mizoyne. Yeah. Bini Bini is 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 Puravu, Chaya is Ayn Hara is not Shailet, and people right people of Marba Metzia right people die from Ayn Hara, and Mizonis is is fish have is they get they get Mizonis from Chesed of Hashem they have to work hard for Mizonis, so that's the three fishes. (laughs) What? But but but, and now most this is the point I don't know why (laughs) fish and birds have to work less. Than, than animals for food. So I'm not sure the pshat. That's why I said we have to talk about that. I, I don't have clarity in that pshat. But, but that's what Rashi says. So, but we have a cloud, we have a cloud from a vulva, and the island knows 
that the game can never get it right. So there has to be more, especially his name is Sus. You know, Sus. it's just a fair. So there has to be there has to be more. I mean, it has to be a writer. The going says the going says like this. The villain the going says like this. He says, of course, there's a madriga of ish. When a person gets married, he becomes an ish, and that's one of the to his wife. But he says there's another siyachsus, a higher level, which is Baal. When a person gets married, the Rashi says Hashem Ish Muhammad, the translation of Ish is Baal. And the Gemara, the Chazal tell us, Enish Enish Meishal Ishtar by Naomi Ish Naomi is a Baal. Then the Goyen explains, what does it mean to a Baal? A Baal means that a person is co-cooly given over his life, is, is this Kesher between Ish and Ishtar. He understands that his life is not just a life, he's not, he's not by himself anymore. He gets a new name called Baal. He's, a, he's the husband of, and that's what he is. He becomes a husband. And that's really what a Yiddish, a Yiddish, a, 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 a mensch. So aside from B'ni Chaim Nezoyne, the there's a, there's a, there's a bit higher than that, which is the Achtos HaGomor, between Ishve Ishtoi, that a person becomes a Baal, and that's the, the, the Iker um, Tikkun of an Adam, is when he becomes a husband. So I just want to give, finish off the bracha that Taka Moshe Minki Pshizaycha to Binyan Adayad and to have Bini Chaim Mizoyne, the Revach, and the, the bracha for all, all of us that Binismach Kulonu Beher Bimene Beri Tzisro Bibiya Sagoya and we'll be together Tzizamen to be Misameach together. Amen. Amen. Time, time, time. <laughs>